All right, guys, here we go. Uh, welcome back to building our robot arm here. So this week, we're going to take a little break from the mechanical build. And I want to jump into some programming uh, so that it's not like we have to do all the programming all at once. It's kind of good to do a little bit um, as we go, all right? Uh, so first thing I want to point out, as I was, was working with the robot arm, I realized that uh, some of the axes here, they didn't move very well. And what I realized in trying to troubleshoot that was that some of these screws, for example, like this one, or maybe even this one down here, um, that so the screws that connected the, the joints like this, like two pieces of plastic together, they were actually too tight. So um, that was causing it to be very, very hard for the motor, uh, the servo, to turn. Uh, to actually move it because it was just too tightly uh, stuck together. So I actually went ahead and uh, loosened some of these screws and then everything worked a lot better. So that's something that I would do. go ahead and just check right now. Um, one way I like to check is like this. So you could take your like pinky and the test that I would say to do is that if, if you can just take a pinky and then just kind of move it like this without pushing very hard, like move it back and forth, without pushing, uh, sorry, not that one, without pushing very hard, then it's good, okay? So before I loosen this, if I press with my pinky, I kind of have to press kind of hard to get it to go. So I call this the pinky test, all right? So I want it to be able to move pretty easily with the pinky. Now, if it was really hard, it could be, like if this, this part right here was really hard to move, it could be this screw. Um, it could also be this screw. It could also be uh, over here, okay? So that's something to kind of troubleshoot. You gotta check, take a look at all the screws. So go ahead and do that for all the motors. Um, this side too, okay? Same thing, you want your pinky to be able to do that. So once you do that, the motor should actually move a lot better, okay? All right, the, the second thing that I wanna point out here uh, before we start uh, programming is I want to kind of uh, rename uh, these these motors here and uh, I'll, I'll tell you why so the first one the motor down here we're gonna still call this the base motor so so nothing to rename there because the base moves uh, the turret thing like this all right then the second motor we did which is actually the one back here this this motor moves it like like this, right? Okay. So what's actually going on is that this motor here, it makes actually makes more sense to me. Uh, it's actually, let me make it more clear. This motor back here is, should be extend and retract, okay? Because it actually moves, moves it out and pulls it back in. Now then what does this motor do? That's the third motor, the one that we just did. It might be kind of um, hard to see, okay? But what I want to do is bring your attention to this piece right here and this part, uh, this hole right here, all right? Later on, your claw is going to be connected by actually these three pieces, okay? But for now, since, since the claw is not connected, don't worry about um, these two back here. Just look right here, okay? So if I look right here and then I move this motor, Look what happens. It goes down and it goes up. And it can even go up there, down and up. Okay, so this motor I actually like to call the lift because looking, look, it, it moves it down and up while the one back here, the one back here moves this part, see it extends it off the screen or retracts it off the screen, all right? So to make it more clear, I'm gonna go ahead and, and just sticky foam for now. Maybe you wanna do the same thing. Uh, just for, uh, just for uh, testing, I'm gonna sticky foam something to it, maybe this blue piece, okay? Let's see, let me grab some sticky foam, hold on. All right, okay, here we go. Um, I got my sticky foam here. And this is just for testing. Uh, 
you can do this or not do this. It's really up to you. But for the sake of the video, it's going to be more clear as to what's going on, right? And I got a, a blue um, little poof right there. Okay, so um, let's see what. Okay, so the rotation, the turret or the base rotates the, it like this. The extend back here will move it, extend it out, or bring it back. And then the lift, which is this motor, will bring it down or bring it up. OK? All right, so. Let's uh, play with this now. Let's see what we can do. All right, so let's go ahead and program. I want to make sure I have these all in. All right, I have it plugged in there. This is a nine. Nine down here is the base. 10 is going to be the uh, extend. And 11, pin 11, is going to be the, um, the lift. All right, so I'm going to get my coding screen here and then we can get started all right here we go I got my uh, setup here and uh, I have my base motor uh, arm motor and extend motor objects declared so now let's uh, attach them base motor dot attach was to nine the extend motor dot attach is now 10 okay and let me just put this in order extend and then I'm gonna call this one the last one which is this guy right here is the lift motor lift motor dot attach 11 all right and let's make sure I have everything calibrated that's always good once I do this now um, hopefully we don't have to do it again so this time I'm just going to calibrate it and then we're going to set it so we're not going to move uh, the servo horns or the servo couplings anymore okay so let me do base motor dot right 90 just to make sure it should go centered okay so let's connect this up there might be some code on it already we'll see what's going on with this but Okay, looks like we're okay. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. We'll let's try it again here. You know what? That's also another thing that, that we saw is that at this point, when you have three motors, sometimes this might happen. It could be something with the power. Let's plug in the uh, this guy here, the the barrel jack power. All right. Let's give this another shot. And let's unplug and replug back in. I have a lot of st stuff connected via USB too, uh, which could be a part of this issue. So you might not see this with just one, one thing connected. Okay, so that's that looks good. I had 90 degrees there. All right, and uh, let's make sure everything's good. I have a, if I go 180, it should move over there. Okay, I guess it goes that way, and then zero will go the other way. Okay, cool. All right, so at this point, because we have the motor calibrated, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna create what we call soft limits. I'm gonna make a comment. Soft limits for uh, motors. So a soft limit is basically it's going to be a number that 
where we can say we should not move beyond this limit. Now there's going to be two limits per motor, one for um, going in one direction and then the other limit to go in for going the other directions. Okay, so this is what I mean. So what's the minimum, um, the minimum angle for the base motor? So we're going to say base motor min for minimum equals zero because actually you can go all the way to zero no problem and so I'm gonna we need to call it an int okay for the variable uh, type int and then base motor max equals 180 so now when you're programming you can know that okay I can go anywhere uh, for the base motor I can go anywhere from zero to 180 all right, so that's like a note for you so that when you start programming and your program gets a little more complicated, you don't have to remember it. Okay, so how far can I move the motor? Um, okay, so this one's pretty easy for the base motor. So now let's do the next motor. So let me first move this back to 90. Okay, looking good. We're back at 90. Okay, the next thing I want to do is play around with the, uh, let's do the extend motor, okay? Extend motor dot write 90. Let's see what it does here. Okay, so you can see that it kind of pulled it, pulled it in. Uh, can we do a 100? Let's see. It's this motor back here. Oh, so it's actually coming, coming down as I go bigger. So can I do 110? Oh, it's coming out even more. All right, so I guess it can keep going. Uh, let's see if, can it go 150? Oh, nice. Okay, 150. Now, at this point, it seems like this is kind of, hitting hitting the ground here so maybe that's a good limit let's see 160 let's see what happens yeah it's actually hitting the table now so for me maybe what one 150 one one sec you probably don't want to go past that so I'm going to say int extend motor max equals 160. All right. Now let's see the minimum. Uh, so going back the other way. So let's go back to 90. OK. So now it's, it's extended to there. Can it go smaller? Oh, it, yes it can. Uh, 80 it can go, can it go 70? Okay, it moves slightly, but it doesn't really want to, I can kind of hear it. So it's probably at its edge. Like if I go 60, it probably won't move at all. Let's see.
Yeah, see, it didn't even move at all. So right now it's it's stuck, but it's trying to get to 60. So that's not a good place because uh, what's going to happen is that the motor is going to get really hot because it's constantly trying to push to try to get to 60, but it can't. So probably 70 is probably a better um, limit. So let's go to 70 again. You can hear that sound. You don't want to hear that like pushing sound. 70 is even... I can hear, like it didn't really move, so let's go 80. 80 might be the, the minimum. Let's try 80. Okay. 80. So let's go with that. And again, your numbers might be a little bit different. Extend motor min equals 80. Okay, so again, now we know that this extend motor here, uh, in the back here, right, we don't want to go bigger than 60, and we don't want to go below 80. So now we're already like getting some context. All right, so as we start programming, stay within these limits. All right, let's do the last one here. The, um, this is called the lift motor, right? Okay, so lift motor dot right 90. Let's see what happens here. Okay. That's 90. Let's go bigger. Let's go 100. See what happens here. Okay, looks like it's getting bigger. Let's go like 130. See what happens. Oh, okay, so it's popping up. Okay, good. So I think maybe it can go all the way up. Let's try 170. Should be good. I think it's just gonna keep going back down. Like this, go back and this should go up. Cool, and probably 180 works as well. Oh, a little rush there, let's try again, 180. Cool, all right, so we're gonna call this one uh, the soft limit for the lift motor. So lift motor max equals 180. All right, and let's see how low it can go. So we were back at 90, so 90 will move it back down. My sense is that it probably can't go f much lower than 90. Okay, so I can already tell, guys. You see the pom pom is already touching the turret, so I don't think it can go past 90. It's just gonna try pushing it, uh, the pom pom, into the, the turret base thing that's not good so I don't even need to test it we just know the lift motor min equals 90 all right so your first task is to find and create these limits for yourself all right so mine these are my numbers yours might be a little bit different like instead of 90, maybe yours is 95 or it's 80. It really depends on exactly how you calibrated the motors, okay? So I'll put the challenges here. Uh, challenge one, create soft limits for all three motors, okay? And that's these. All right, then the next step, is we are going to write the ultimate uh, program now using our limits, all right? So uh, we're gonna do, let's move the base motor within the limits. So base motor we're gonna move it to the base, the min And we're gonna delay 1000 so we can see it. And then I'm gonna copy this, 
because we're going to move then it move it to the max and then delay 1000 all right so what's nice about this guys is that you don't have to think about the numbers here because you've already figured out the numbers over here right so we can just go go to the min and go to the max and it's not going to hurt uh, your robot all right, because we've already worked out the soft limit. So let's upload this and see if our base correctly goes back and forth. Cool. Okay, so now let's add the extend motor as well. We're going to go from the, the min to the max as well. So extend motor right, extend motor min. Delay 1000 so you can actually see it. Copy this. And then extend motor max and then delay 1000 so we can see it. All right, so now we're gonna get turret motion and then after that we should get the extend motion. Okay, turret. Okay, one thing I notice is that this is hitting the ground and uh, actually my screws are coming out. So that's, that's not good. Hold on. So, all right. All right, let's first see um, what happened here. Right, this part, oh. Okay, yeah, this needs to go into here and see if I can find that nut. So what happened was that this was going too far down, so that's not good. So that's where I should probably adjust my soft limit because I was overextending it. Um, All right, let's see if I can fix this guy. Interesting because it looks like I, all right, I need to get the right screw in here. I'm gonna pause the video, fix this, and then come back. All right, guys, so I'm back. I fixed this, but then what I wanna do is, um, change this up so the pom-pom thing doesn't hit the ground. So I need to change, I think this has to do with extend. So 80 is, is too small, I should change it to 90. I should fix that, let's try. Okay, so this might happen to you. So it's a good time to like test your limits, your soft limits to be safer. It's still slightly hitting it, so I'm just gonna be safer. I'm gonna go 100, okay? You know what? I may be changing the wrong, wrong one. Let's see. Oh. I was changing the min. I think the problem is actually the max. Yeah, so the max is too large. It's 160, let's change it to 150.
There we go. Now it doesn't hit the ground. Okay, now let's add the lift motor. Okay, lift motor dot right, and we're gonna go lift motor max. Let's quickly do this, guys. Delay 1000. Copy this. Delay motor min for the second one. Actually, you know what? We wanna, we did min first and then max, right? So let's, let's also stay consistent. Min, max. There we go. Okay. All right, should get all three motion. Okay, so it's working. Let's add a little bit more to this guy. I also want to do the middle. Okay, so, we, so right now we have the min, the max. I also want the in-between. So check this out, all right? Let's go int. Okay, we'll actually put it here. Int base motor mid equals base motor max minus base motor min divided by two. Okay, that's some math to give us the midpoint between this one and this one. So let's go ahead and do that for the other ones. Extend motor mid equals extend motor max minus extend motor min divided by two. Oh, don't forget our semicolons here. Lift motor um, mid equals lift motor max minus lift motor min divided by two. All right, and make sure you put these parentheses here, okay, to say that you want these two. Do these two first and then divide by two. Let's compile this, make sure everything's okay, okay. So why do I want this? Well, I want, so you see like this kick, the kick action of the um, pom-pom. You can't really see it because of the, the angle. So I want the kick to happen actually when the turret is at the middle. So why don't I, in my uh, base motor, Let's go base, after that, let's go base motor dot right to base motor mid. And then delay 1000 so we can see it. So now the base motor should actually end up in the middle after it goes to the min first, then the max, then it goes to the mid. All right, let's see if we can get this. There you go. So 
So now it's kicking. It's doing that little kick when it's in the middle. All right, so let's write some challenges here. So you got it. So challenge one, or it, we've already done. Challenge number two would be to create program to cycle through all the min and max positions. All right, we already did that. And then what, what I just did here is add, challenge number three is to add um, the mid positions using the math formulas and program uh, the kick to happen at the middle of the base motor. Okay, that means like the kick to happen at this position here in the middle. Okay, all right. And just to kind of spice it up for those of you who want to challenge yourself, challenge number four is to uh, modify program so that the motion only happens if you press a button, okay? So, and just to clarify, it's the four pin button. So in order to do challenge number four, you have to remember how to wire the button to your, uh, to your noggin. And then you have to remember how to program it so that if you press the button, it goes through all that motion. No worries if you can't get there. I do recommend kind of think about it at least. Um, if you can't do there, get there, you know, we'll go through it together. All right, there we go. So we get some more uh, programming here. Have fun with that and uh, talk to you guys soon.